Okay, if you get up extra early on Christmas morning, you will see scientific history being made with a big boost from Silicon Valley. The most powerful space telescope ever made will head into space at 420 in the morning. Yes, it's a little early. It's aiming to send back images never seen before. It's a lot of local technology and know-how on board as well. Our business and tech reporter Scott Budman shows us the scope of things to come. It's a telescope that's both gigantic in size. It's uh, much bigger than any than Hubble. It's got like five times the area. And ambition. The first is to observe the very first galaxies that were formed in the universe 13.5 billion years ago. The James Webb Space Telescope will be the most powerful observatory ever sent into space. Astronomers are absolutely geeked about this. We spoke to two scientists from NASA Ames and Mountain View where the telescope was modeled and the technology powering it was developed about what the scope hopes to see. What these planets are like, what their atmospheric compositions are like, what their climates are like, and that's going to give us some really really interesting insight into into our own galaxy and again how big it really is these wings are like on a table of segments and the whole telescope uh has to fold up and you get the idea here it's if they fit all into the rocket here in silicon valley early testing was done under extremely cold conditions that's uh minus 390 something uh fahrenheit and we had to test it at those temperatures, which was quite difficult. And uh, everything shrinks down and things move. The end result, they hope, will be an incredible scientific journey looking into both the past and our future. It's, it's really quite, quite staggering the, the amount of science that is going to, to, that we're going to see just within that first year. The Webb telescope will eventually be able to see 13 and a half billion years into our cosmic past. It will be able to see planets revolving around other stars in our galaxy, as well as black holes in other galaxies. At the NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View, Scott Budman, NBC Bay Area News. Thank you.